Please subscribe to channel Squiggle Mom. Super cute, super cute. Okay, now that we've seen how to mix the coconut milk, here is the orange that we're going to use it on. So this orange, what I've done with it is I have squeezed it, poked a hole with it with this in it with the syringe, and squeezed some of the juice out. Now we're not going for all of the juice because I don't want the skin to implode, which happened in a previous time. Now I just want to make, I'm just trying to make sherbet in the peel, right? Any way I can get it to be made. So this is how it is. Now I am going to, oh, the seal on my syringe seems to be a little wonky. Oh. So it's not the most um, expensive syringe, so. I imagine that maybe there is an opportunity for a, um, a good syringe, a need for a good syringe if I'm going to be doing this much. Oh, so I don't know how this is going to work. Let's see. Right, I didn't think I'd be able to get that in. All right, so now what I have to do is I have to put the liquid, pour the liquid into, into the syringe. So I need something to catch as I do the pour. This, I had to do this last time. Oh, I know. I'll poke it into here so that once it starts coming out, it's coming out someplace I want it to come out. Obviously, if I'm going to be doing this a lot, I need a better syringe. And I'll be working with more liquid. So basically, the syringe is now like a funnel. Okay, so I just poured. Hard for you to see because I just poured the liquid into the syringe and now I am going to attach the plunger. You can just trust that I'm doing that here. Sorry, I forgot my tripod at the studio, so but this is definitely not something I'll be doing at the studio. Okay. 
so here it is with the syringe attached. I'm going to try to do this one-handed, which could be terrible. What I found is at some point, see how it's coming out the sides? I think I have to eject, inject it in just the right spots so that it doesn't... Um, oh, <laughs> and yes, we have the explosion. I'm going to back the camera up. I don't want to have to clean it off. And Okay, let's try this again. The question is how much of this is actually staying in the um, peel because a fair amount of it is coming back out. So when you make this, get ready to also drink some of it. Look at how much of that came back out. But not all of it. So there's a the hope. Now I'm just going to wash it off and pop it in the freezer. And that is my preparation for sherbet and the peel. The next video we have will be the eating. Okay, sherbet in the peel. Take three. You want to hold this while I cut it? So I'm just going to slice it open. It smells good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Ugh. Folks at home, I'd recognize, I recommend a kitchen knife rather than a steak knife. <laughs> There, ugh, sherbet in the peel. Wow, it smells delicious. Let me get a different knife, you're right. Okay, do it like that. Oh, that's much better. So I should do this slices. Okay, that's nice here. Okay, all right, taste. You're gonna taste? I'm gonna taste. Go take that one. Mm. Can you taste the coconut? Yeah. A little, a little bit. bit. Just a little. Kind of like the last one, but it's good. Not quite sure, but yeah. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Still just tastes like frozen orange with a bit of coconut. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Well, I think it's getting better. Okay. That's it, guys. Yay. 
Show it in the peel. Take three. Cooking it's good. Please subscribe to channel Squiggle Mom. Super cute, super cute.